Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing World of Dota, which is of course created by Panda Life. We're playing some Tide Dota today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into the game. Hello friends, we got ourselves a Tide Hunter. We're gonna be playing the Strength Tide Hunter build today, which unfortunately I think is not really super good. Uh, but we're just gonna we're just gonna try. <laughs> we're just gonna do our best. And that's the plan. Anyways, uh, where are we going? Ah, okay, no, not here, not there. This this seems like a good camp for us, but somebody else is already headed there. That's okay, they're they're going over. They're going over there. That's that's great. That's fantastic. Alright, so um we can get ourselves some stats here, which is nice. Like that kind of makes me think we might want to go universal later on. Um, but yeah, anyways, I am feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, so we're just kind of chilling today. We're just playing some World of Dota, just playing a little puppy lobby. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but just so you know, right? Just so you are caught up as to why maybe I sound a bit differently. And maybe why I'm a little bit lower on energy. But that's all right. I've had a busy week, honestly. Like, that's just... Um, Mostly just uh, quite a lot of playing Magic, which may sound like, well, it sounds like you're just hanging out with your friends. And kind of like, yeah, that's nice about it. But also, uh, I'm working on a bunch of videos and a few of them actually just require me to play some awful, terrible, terrible decks. Uh, and I just need to kind of like get those hours in, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I've just been playing a lot. And turns out leaving the house every day to like go somewhere to then talk to people and interact with them. It's just kind of a bit exhausting for me. It's just kind of like like a lot. Um, so yeah. Anyways. I need to find a way to play this game online maybe. But it is fun. Why are you all the way over here? There's a creep camp literally right there. Huh? This is just ran past the creeps to hit me. I'm very confused. Alright, let me just get some strength here. Let me get some strength. Become big, become strong. Very good. Oh, I had a good deal on a Pokemon card today. Uh, something I've been doing is... Uh, well, when we used to live in Stuttgart... Uh, once a week, I went to like our local farmer's market and I got Mickey some flowers. But there is no farmer's market here where we live now. So that doesn't really work and I don't just want to go into a store. Um, there is a store, but it's kind of expensive. So it's just like, doesn't really work anymore. So what I do now instead is I buy her little Pokemon cards. <laughs> I just kind of buy her cute little Pokemon cards and give it to those every once in a while. What does this do? Um, chance to Ravage. Does Ravage scale with anything? The Hill Region. Strength. Okay, we, we want strength. Alright, that's fine. We can, we can do that. We can get strength. So anyways, but... Uh, that, doesn't really, that doesn't really work anymore. So now I just buy Pokemon cards. And I'm telling you this because I uh, got a good deal on a Miriam today. Oh, somebody put it on card market for like 30% less than what it usually goes for. So nice. <laughs> that was my big success today. Again, I'm not feeling particularly great at the moment. So um, we're taking the small victories today. You know what I mean? Some days you're going for big victories, and some days you go for small ones. And today is one where I go for small ones. Um, hello. Mm. Nice. I was a little bit worried that the Morphling would show up. <clears throat> a little bit worried that the Morphling comes and steals my kill. I'm gonna buy a Bracer. Just to have a little bit of early game. Right, just some immediate stats. I'm always a fan of that. And then we'll grab ourselves an Omelette. And that's the plan. Yes. Very good. Very good. Power Treads are nice for farming. 
I often don't buy power traps on melee heroes, I get face boots instead, because uh, they're just a bit better for chasing people down. And melee heroes have to spend a lot of time chasing people down. But uh, I think on Tidehunter we have Ravage, we have Gush, eventually. <laughs> but we eventually have Gush. I think on Tidehunter it makes sense to go for something that's a bit more raw stats, because you can just kind of afford it, I suppose. <clears throat> So yeah. Also, this Saturday, I'm running another tournament, a magic tournament, and um, I now have the complete player count. Why do you say I have no mana? Oh, because I'm clicking the wrong button. That makes sense, yes. Uh, but we have uh, 24 participants now, and there are more people that wanted to participate but signed up wrongly, and I was kind of like, oh, 20, 24 seems like enough. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, because I'm I am hosting the thing in a new space where, in theory, I have space for up to 32 people, um, but we're working our way up to that number. Point being, uh, that's going to be interesting. That's this Saturday. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I'm just using Ravage because the arena's about to be over. I might as well secure the creep kill. Oh, let's get five old stats. That seems good. Skyrith Mage should win because the anti mage is disconnected. So that makes the early game easy. It's just a player that's kind of out, but who cares? It's not it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So uh now each attack on our hero has a chance to create a ravaged tentacle near the enemy. And it's a 75% chance, seven second cooldown. So if you attack me. You're going to get stunned by Ravages. Okay. New active ability. Tindrils of the Deep. That's a Neville Ravage. 20 second cooldown. Then we just get some Kraken Shell stuff. Where when the Kraken Shell damage taken reaches a certain limit, the hero will begin to regenerate health faster. Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't say what the limit is. I'm guessing it's just the damage threshold. But it gives us 0.4% health regen. Then Ravage damage increased by 160% of our strength. And Ravage cooldown reduction and Ravage stun duration increase. Uh, that's our capstone here. Okay, uh, interesting. What do we do about this? Probably just Ravage. I mean, like one hit, Ravage. And then two more. And then we got it. Very good. Oh, go away. oh you stole my... You stole my Ravage. Okay. Works for me. Level up this. And now I will grab you. Wow, we just got a lot of stuff actually. It's a little bit little bit crazy, isn't it? So we've got the tendrils of the deep now. This is nice. I like that we have this kind of passive trigger. I'm not entirely sure how immediately impactful it's gonna end up being but it should be okay this does seem like a build where it might actually be okay to go universal because mostly i don't know how many like points we need we're still gaining with strength not with hp this technically scales with hp i guess like the health region but that's okay we can just have survivability in other ways um and these don't actually require that many skill points. So it might be a universal build. Not necessarily because, you know, we need the damage or anything like that. But if we if we can get it for free, if it doesn't really come at a cost, then I don't see a reason why we wouldn't. Rabbit. All right, we're just kind of murdering the Rubik a little bit. So we've got an omelet. I want to pick up an orb of corrosion. It's a bit slow, but people are running away from me. Sorry, it's it's a bit late, not slow, right? I'm a bit slow on the orb of corrosion, I suppose. But uh, I'm basically saying is uh, people are running away a lot from me. And uh, I think given that orb of corrosion is still a relatively cheap pickup that actually goes quite a long way. Because it just locks that down a bit. Harpoon? No, I don't like Harpoon very much. The problem with Harpoon is that then you have a Harpoon. 
right? And like, do you want a harpoon? I don't. I don't really ever want a harpoon. If I have a harpoon in my inventory, then things are kind of going badly. I feel. Hello, I'm Dr. Baumi, and uh, it seems that unfortunately you've been diagnosed with YouTube-itis. And it seems that the only cure is for you to leave a like on the video. I wish you good luck, my friend. So, especially a Tide Hunter, he has so much Disable. I am one of the kings of Disable right here. All right, we'll take down this stuff. And there's the Gloss of Haste. You know something I saw today? I saw I had a couple of videos where I noticed that YouTube was giving like an AI generated description of the video. And I saw it on like a YouTube channel I watched right at first. And then I was like, huh, so I have never seen this before. It must be new. So I looked around a little bit more, and then I actually found one of my videos where that also was the case. And I thought that was kind of wild. Hello, everybody. Do you want to fight? I'm I'm okay with it now. I was a bit I was a bit careful at first, but now we can go if you want to. She's going to heal, so since she's going to heal, there's not going to be quite enough time for her to actually get to full HP, I think. Yeah. Might as well take the freebie, right? Very good. <clears throat> so the thing about the AI description what i noticed about it is like first of all that it exists right but the other thing is that every time i've seen it so far which hasn't been much i think i've only seen it on like three videos but on the videos where i found it and i should maybe mention that too is that uh i found it and i mean that quite literally i went searching for it not every video has it it was only a, a handful of videos and i clicked through a whole bunch because i wanted to see it because i was curious about it And so, as I was looking through, right, only a handful of videos actually have it. And it was really accurate. Like, it was very, very much accurate to the video. And I found that to be kind of interesting. I'm not sure what to make of it, right? Like, I don't know what to do with the information that this exists now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I like that it exists. Because it feels a little bit like spoilers. Maybe that's just me, but... You know, like, with some videos, it might be better to not have a description of what's in the video so you can fully enjoy it. And the thing is, if I put the spoilers right below the video, doesn't that, you know, like, invite people to do that? But I don't know. It invites people to look at it, is what I'm trying to say. So... Get an Io Scotty. Oh, Vampire Fangs seem good for me. Alright, so Anti Mage is gonna be out, and then the game really begins. Hmm, that's interesting, Dr. Teaspoon. Dr. Teaspoon is playing a game called The Long Drive. Which is about cars, apparently. Hmm. Rip. So, increase our Kraken Shell damage block. It's gonna be up to 42, which is like very mid, isn't it? That's really low. Why is it so low? Isn't the Kraken Shell and regular Dota way higher? I feel like it's usually way more. Ba -ba -ba. Tight Hunter. A Kraken Shell goes up to 75. That's so much better. God damn. Alright. It's our biggest worry in this game, by the way. Magic damage, probably. Alright, 
level up the Kraken shell some more. Hmm. I'm not confident we can win this. Oh, we are definitely not winning this. Yeah. I would have been able to win, I think, if not for the... Wait, they are teaming. Right? Oh, I'm playing against teamers. Fascinating. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Huh. That's going to be interesting. Because, like, why wouldn't the... Why wouldn't the uh, Muerta kill the Titan? Not Titan, but the, the Morphling. Just let him go. Huh. Okay. Well, that's gonna be fun. I'm legitimately looking forward to this. Because it's gonna make for an interesting challenge. Alright, let's pick up this. Also, one second. Hello! Alright. Mickey just came home. Get here. Although, admittedly, I might want to go for the magic resistance instead. I don't know. I'm really building quite tanky right now with the early Eye of Scotty. I'm not confident that's a good idea. But I need people to stop running away from me. And we also need to win long fights. Like, that's really gotta be our main strategy here. Long, long, long fights. Any agility build. Uh, there's a Muerta that's agility, and Rubik who's kind of split. And kind of a split Skyrath mage. I mean, agility Muerta is a real build. Like, that is something that, you know, is a bit intimidating. Alright. You can poke me if you want. Oh, can you now? Am I not a hard counter to this guy? I feel like I am. Because his debuff doesn't stick to me. Oh no. There we go. So, strength. Um, when Kraken Shell reaches its limit, we heal more. That seems good. Is the Murta gonna show up? No, the Skyrim mate showed up. Interesting, okay. No, I, I would rather you don't come on here. Oh, there's, there's the Morphling now. Hmm. That does make things tricky. I'm missing a lot. Ah. Uh, unlucky. <laughs> What's the chance of missing? All attacks from the outside. But like, wasn't I on the inside? <laughs> I feel like I was on the inside. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you again? I gotta find somewhere where this guy isn't. Alright, Phantom Assassin. They're both going for me. No, but these two are not teaming, I think. Yeah, see, they are actually killing each other. Nice. Wait. You all forgot to kill each other. There we go. Hey, I can do this too. Yeah, this whole, this whole trick here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're here. Just let me farm. Honestly, this is all a tad bit irritating. All I want to do is take down some creeps. Alright. So, this is leveled up. We'll be able to finish up the Io Scotty. Uh, there's no chance we can finish up the omelet. Even though that would be very nice. Yeah, somebody's getting it. Yeah, 
more fling garden. That's all right. I mean, I've pretty much resigned to the fact that I'm going to need to win a duel here. Unless I get some really lucky creeps. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's not good. Just going to try to stay alive. We should be fine. But of course, that means we're not getting anything. Um... Hmm, do I want any of these? This is good. I think I actually prefer lifesteal right now, so I'm just going to get the money. Uh, there's an E-Blade. E-Blade isn't super good against me, but I still would like some magic resistance, I think. Uh, I do feel like we are definitely going to want to go for a Mage Slayer in this, in this game, so might as well just get it. Alright, hello, bud. Should be it. Very good. Strength, strength. Ravage damage increases by 80% of our strength. <clears throat> yeah, the last arena wasn't great for us. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. We're still doing okay, but it's one of those things, right? It's just, just a tad bit difficult. Oh, that's a... Oh. All right, how about you take that one, and I take this one, and we just leave in peace. Everybody's happy? Perfect. All right, double up you. Oh, you want to fight? I don't really want to fight. Is this really going to work? It's not... Has it become undispellable? Ah, okay, well, that makes my life a lot more difficult. I thought I was well, I was well off against the Morphling. I thought I would be able to handle that nicely, but not anymore. Now that it's undispellable, that's actually like, we are very much in the opposite situation now. <laughs> where it's become very difficult for me to deal with. This would be a really good creep if we can finish it in time. Gonna need to ravage in all likelihood. She stole it? God, that sucks. Honestly, I am blown away that she was able to reach it from that far away. That's really, really unlucky. I mean, that was like a critical strike off of a multi-shot. Otherwise, she doesn't get it. I suppose I should have just slammed the Ravage earlier, but I wasn't sure that earlier Ravage would actually have, have done it. Don't worry, guys. I'm aware. But this area is more dangerous with the Murta here, and you have to keep in mind the Murta and the Morphling are teaming. Yeah. Yeah, they're clearly teaming. Look at this. Huh. What are we doing about that? So this guy's just chasing me. And obviously I can't farm like this. Mm. He's not interested in farming himself. He only wants to chase me. I'm guessing the Murta is going to arrive from the top any second now. Agreed. Yeah. Arcane oh, yeah, there's the Phantom Assassin. That's good. Phantom Assassin is on my team, as in not on theirs. Hmm. I would like to kill this. In the water. No way. There we go. Can I get close? Good. 
Sometimes you just smack him. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, I mean, that's okay, I guess. And now I need one more level here. So I get this. And now I go into Universal, I think. Do I want attack speed or anchor smash cooldown reduction? To be honest, attack speed is probably better. Hello. You doing okay? Big tired. So we have our Spear of Mordigian. I definitely need a Disperser to get close to the Morphling. I mean, the problem is just that Disperser isn't super good until I actually get my, um, my Universal. But there's just no way around it, I think. Gonna need it quickly. While I can't dispel the slow from the Morphling, this burst that does make me unslowable. And that beats out a slow. Even if the slow is undispellable, I'm not dispelling it. I'm just making myself unslowable. Of course, as I said just a sec ago, the problem with disperse is that it doesn't really help us that much in terms of overall power. I have no idea how I'm going to beat the Morphling and Murta in, uh, in the final arena, though. That's going to be tricky, isn't it? Well, we'll figure that out once we get there. Oh, you have got some range, don't you? I can't kill her right now. She's pretty low. I've got nothing else to do, so I might as well go for the risky play, to be honest. Nice. <laughs> it's so funny to see the Morphling come in for support. <laughs> right? Like, that's literally what's going on. He's just showing up because he wants to save his teammate. Damn. Got me, though. Alright, um... Hmm. Getting rid of lifesteal is tricky, but I think I should. Get the ninja gear. How much do I need here? 19. So we can actually just wait and get there. I mean, I might as well finish it. It's a pretty powerful item. This is a new duo? No, no. Anything is doors if you cheat. <laughs> Alright, grab this. So we need five more points. Ah, that's actually quite a lot, isn't it? Because we're just not making as much progress as I would like to. <clears throat> I do need Satanic. Ah, that's the problem, though. Like, it doesn't actually... It's not enough by itself. Although Satanic has the advantage of giving us a bunch of strength. Which is good. Although our attack speed is a lot better now with the Disperser. Yeah, I think there's no way around the Satanic. Oh! Are they killing each other now? Do they only team until a certain point of the game or something? Interesting. Maybe that's how they like tell themselves that that's like why it's okay. Or we're just using it during the early game, which we can make it past the early game anyways. Fascinating. That's definitely like I think an aspect of like cheating, right? Like an aspect of that psychology is always that cheaters, um, they will have like justifications as to why what they're doing or how they are doing it is, is acceptable. And, like, they would probably even be upset if somebody else was cheating. But they are not upset if they are doing it, because when they are doing it, there's some sort of rule that makes it okay. Right? They have some sort of principle, which is, like, it's, it's, I'm not saying that it's a good principle, right? Like, it's an old likelihood, some nonsense. But there's probably some sort of principle that they tell themselves that is kind of like, oh, this right here is why it's okay when we do it. Um, intellect. 
Ooh, hello there. That's a good creep. Ooh, that's a bad human. Do you have cleave? You do have cleave. Ah, oh, she got it again, man. <laughs> I'm just not, a, not having a lot of luck with that today. Yeah, we're not getting the 75% either. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so the reason why we lost that is Satanic. I don't have Satanic yet because I needed the Disperser to deal with the Morphling. So, um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta finish up with Satanic. I mean, I, can I tell you my favorite story of, like, a cheater in a competition? Which, uh, I, I'm sure I've told this before, but I just think it's very funny. Because there's, um, so this was at a Super Smash Bros. Melee event. And the Super Smash Bros. Melee is a fighting game uh, that has, that wasn't kind of, it wasn't designed for competitive play. It was just a game that people liked enough to play competitively. And uh, one of the characters in the game is Pichu. And Pichu is, is really bad. Really bad. It's not a good character. But the thing about it, about Melee, is that it's a game that's so good that even if you're playing the worst character in the game, because the fundamentals of the game are strong enough, you can still win against people that are, you know, that, that are playing better characters just as long as you play better than them. Like, that is totally doable in Melee. So, there was an event. Oh, and one thing I should also mention about it. At the time, in particular, Melee only played in person, right? It's not a game that you played online. It's a game that you played in person. So, there was an event. Or, not an event. Kind of like a weekly tournament, I guess. And people would bring their consoles so that everybody can play the game. Because, you know, gotta bring the consoles so people actually have access to the game and can can play it. There was one guy that would only play on his own console. Absolutely refused to play on anybody else's. And to be honest, that's like a little bit weird, but it's not crazy weird. Like, that has something that is something that happens... Because, you know, occasionally people just want to make, like, some people just want to make sure that their console is being treated nicely and so on. So they make sure that when they are, you know, that they are sitting at their machine. This guy absolutely would not move anywhere else. And this guy played Pichu. And uh, people would play against him. And they would just lose. Really good players were losing against this random ass Pichu player. And because of the really good fundamentals of the game, it wasn't super crazy, right? This is something that could happen. But people were still just kind of like, damn, this dude is just wrecking us with Pichu. And so time passed until eventually, for one reason or another, I can't tell you. One of these uh, games was recorded at this setup. And somebody noticed, watching the recording, that, wait a second. <laughs> Pichu doesn't do this much damage. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Pichu's tail isn't that big. <laughs> so what the Pichu player had done... And the reason why they wouldn't change setups, right? The reason why they refused to change where they played was because they had modified the game. <laughs> I think I'm getting a basher, to be honest. I think I'm just getting a basher for now. <clears throat> because they had modified their game. Uh, to make it so that Pichu was better. So they were cheating, but just by like straight up <laughs> modding the game. 
Which I don't know. I think that's kind of sick. <laughs> like what a what a baller move of cheating, right? <laughs> Just straight up modded the game so that Pichu's hitboxes were slightly bigger and Pichu's damage was slightly higher. <laughs> you guys gonna keep teaming on me or can we play fairly now? Nah, I mean, it's worth asking, right? To battle. Uh -uh. I, I think that's just absolutely absolutely hilarious uh, that that he just went and actually modded the game itself to make Pichu slightly better and of course if if the player had chosen oh, it seems they're actually playing the game or are they feeding no that can't be right maybe they are that could be right but if the player had chosen a more popular character Somebody would have noticed immediately, right? Like, if you play Fox against me or Marth against me, which are my two current mains, I always swap them around. I always have Fox as one main and then somebody else as my secondary main. Currently, it's Marth. Um, but if you were to play those characters against me, I would immediately be able to tell if something was off because I, I know the characters myself. But because nobody plays Pichu, people couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's just great. That's just so funny. Alright. <clears throat> Do you have any other social medias other than YouTube and Twitch? No. I used to use Twitter. Kind of passively, but not su not super actively. I mean I have some links if that makes sense, but I don't use them, right? Like you can find I, I I'm always silenced in here. Is that how it works? You're so weak. How are you so weak? You spent the entire game cheating and you're so weak. What, what have you been doing? That is bizarre. Okay. Anyways. Uh, they probably don't understand. Probably not. No, you're right. I'm probably just talking to myself. But I get to have some fun, right? So I used to have, like, Twitter that I used a little bit. But, like, I mean, technically speaking, right? Like, I have a Facebook or Instagram or whatever the fuck. But I don't use them. Um, I would like some sort of Twitter service again, if I'm completely honest. So I'm thinking I might... Like, I was gonna make a Blue Sky account. That's the new thing, right? So I don't want to use Twitter, sorry. I Like, after Musk purchased Twitter, it very rapidly turned into just a very right-wing cesspool. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, it's just full of Nazis, to be frank. And that's not something I'm particularly interested in. Um... And I don't, I don't want to use Twitter. I don't want to support that. So I've completely stopped using Twitter. Um, so what I'm doing now, like I would be down for a Twitter-like service, but Fred's is not really a thing. Um, at least not where I live. So I'm, I'm, I should actually probably make that. I should probably make a Blue Sky account. Yeah. Oh. Hey, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> what? Oh, hello. God damn, this is broken as hell. God damn it, I don't know what to do about that. That is insane. All right, I need Nullifier. I mean, like, I know what I'm... I, I need Nullifier, that's for sure. But, like... That's insane. All right. <clears throat> oh, the Morphling's gonna be a problem. I think the Morita might just be feeding the Morphling now. 
because I can I can beat the Morita easily. I don't know what I do about the Morphling. I think Skull Basher is actually the right way to go. I need to just lock him down. But doesn't Morphling have infinity mana or something like that? My mana burn is not having an impact. No, they. I think it might just be fighting. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Anyways, Refresher. Refresher could be okay, yeah. I definitely need Nullifier, though. Like, that's the problem. There's just no way around the Nullifier. I do need Disperse as well. Funnily enough, like, Eye of Scotty might be my worst item. Spear of Mordigian could go, I guess. We don't really need it. Alright, we'll figure it out later. I need to beat the Murita first anyway. We're not catching up to the Morphling one way or the other. <clears throat> Ooh. So Murita's over there. How is she killing him? That doesn't make any sense. Come on, what's going on today? <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's done. Trident is not better now. Oh, these are these are shit. Okay. Um definitely selling this. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like Refresher is actually the way to go. Against Murta, I do not need the Nullifier. Okay. Hello. So, now against this guy, it's going to be a bit trickier. There's no evasion. So, like, honestly, I can do, make do without the spear. I do want to keep the basher, though, I think. Bristle Blade seems good. Ah, oh, it's just really tricky, honestly. It's just really tricky. Mm-hmm. Not enough damage. Hmm. Yeah, this is honestly, I don't even think this has anything to do with the guy, like, having too much kills, too many kills or anything like that. Like, this has got nothing to do with them cheating. But instead, I think the problem is really just that they are, like, this is this is just a better build than mine. The Titan of Strength build isn't super good, to be completely honest. So I, I'm just going to need to be really careful here. God, that kills. That is so... Oh, man. Yeah. So the, the way that works, right, is it's basically Shadow Races, except it does way more damage, and I can't dispel it. So I, I, I can't really defend myself against it. I needed more damage, I suppose. Oh, man. All right. Well, we got second. I don't feel too bad about that. Honestly, the, the, the reason why we lost at the end there is it's just kind of like a build difference, right? Certain builds are just stronger, and I think that Morphling build is just a bit stronger than mine. Anyways, uh, that was still a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.